Hello everyone, welcome to my stream. I'm George, you can find me as Walker to various, in various uh, Amiga forums. And uh, this is Friday, it's time for a little bit of Amiga and Amiga 1200. I have that uh, in front of me, we continue the journey from the previous week with the Pystorm 32 and the Amiga 1200. Uh, last week we were talking about uh, having that to um, the internet, to connect to the internet and we will continue from that point today. Uh, I would like to say a big hello to everyone on the chat. Uh, unfortunately Javier is not able to join us now but uh, I'm waiting for him later to be in our uh, company. Hello C277, welcome to the stream. And everyone else, uh, hello and welcome. Um, last week, we have seen that uh, uh, I tried to connect. Uh, we have seen a few of the tools for a EMU 68. And uh, also I tried to connect my system to uh, the internet using the, uh, this uh, PCMCA LAN card. I don't know if that's feasible here, uh, this PCMCA LAN card, but it had some issues, so I'm going to share with you later uh, what exactly was happening. Uh, today we are listening to the Amiga Remix Best of uh, Volume 6 from, uh, you can find it on uh, YouTube. I'm using uh, right now in, in videos uh, a proxy website that uh, can give you access to YouTube videos and uh, you get rid of all these uh, ads. So I prefer to watch any video and listen to music from this website. Um, before we start with the system, I, I would like to um, say to you a few things about the um, connecting to the uh, internet with a Python. I was trying uh, Probably you remember that I was referring to the Wi-Fi uh, capabilities and drivers that are available uh, in uh, alpha version uh, from uh, Mike, uh, Michael uh, Schultz um, to, to use the Wi-Fi device from the Python. Unfortunately, they are run, uh, right now in alpha version and I couldn't find the latest um, device because in this website that is coming from the Patreon uh, website from uh, Mikal, uh, there is a downloaded uh, file, a downloadable file, uh, but this is version 0.1.0 and it is quite old. Um, there is a, a way to download a newer version from the uh, website of uh, Amikit. Uh, if you don't know, Amikit has a specific uh, release of uh, that distribution for Python uh, Amigas. You can find it on uh, amikit.amiga.sk slash Python. And you can find information there about this distribution, the Amikit distribution for Python uh, exclusively. And Jan, that is developing this, uh, uh, the Amikit, has also a website, a, a page that has to do with uh, Wi-Fi. And uh, unfortunately, there is a version of the driver, a newer version of the driver, 0.3.0. But unfortunately, this link doesn't work. Uh, I couldn't uh, download it uh, from this uh, link. So I'm try I tried to find it any other place in a package that I could show you how exactly you are going to uh, install it on your uh, Python, but uh, this was not feasible. Um, so um, I will leave it that for another uh, time. I will not be able to show you that now. Um, actually, I don't have a clue how this is going to work. So uh, if I would be able to download it, that would be something that we could uh, discover together. But again, if I click on this link, you will see that 
the the website. Um, there is nothing that I can download. Uh, and I would prefer to use the latest version because it uses uh, WPA2, uh, the, uh, the way to uh, connect with your router without uh, having that open to, to everyone, uh, which is quite uh, necessary because there are a lot of dangers out there. So you don't, you should never have an open uh, wireless uh, network uh, connection to your network. Uh, so I'm going to try to find that version and maybe in the next uh, stream uh, we can see it. Uh, Amikit provides that as well. Um, for the If you have Amikit you can download it and install it. Um, and maybe in one of the next uh, uh, streams uh, we can see how Amikit is working on Python. So, uh, what we are going to see today, uh, let me switch to the Amiga and let me switch here, okay. And uh, if I open a new cell, we will see I hope that by doing something to Yahoo, for example, with a space like that, you will see that the network is working fine and we have ping. Uh, what happened, uh, I don't know if you remember, the previous time this um, connector here on uh, the, let me show you better, this connector here on uh, the PCMCA was a little bit finicky and it was not uh, doing a proper connection. So I had to glue that with hot glue. And also I changed the switch that I'm using from, because the previous one was uh, one gigabit and sometimes this kind of switch are not working correct, correctly with uh, devices that are uh, working on 10 uh, megabps. So I changed it and now the connection is working fine. So that was the, the problem that the installation of Roadshow that uh, I did last week was uh, working fine. And that, uh, that is uh, pretty good today. Um, I don't know if you listen to the music at all. Is the music uh, loud enough, too loud or something? Please let me know. Um, so we have uh, internet working and then what? What we are going to do? Um, I'm going to do, do, disconnect the uh, network card right now and connect my uh, PCMCIA compact flash and uh, move some files into RAM so that we can uh, use them because one of the first things that we should uh, install when we have access to the internet is a browser and on, not only that we would need also the AMI SSL so I have here the AMI SSL 5.14 and I have also the latest version of iBrowse which I'm going for both of them install I copy them into uh, RAM first because from RAM is uh, faster to do any uh, manipulation with archives. And I prefer to not do that on PCMCA or USB or something like that. Uh, the music is fine. Uh, it was muted before. Okay, thanks, uh, Chitu. SLD Snake, welcome. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, switch to WordPress, please. Yes, thank you for mentioning that. Okay, so I have them in uh, RAM, extracting the AMI SSL, and also let me extract the eyebrows. I use the Avalanche 2.4, which is the equivalent uh, tool utility like the Anarch from the Amiga OS 3.9. It uses XAD library, XAD master library, so you can extract most of the 
archives with that, without any problem. So installation of AMI SSL, it is preferred to do that first. Where would you like to install AMI SSL? The directory named AMI SSL will be created there. Uh, okay. Um, well, what I'm going to do is to go to Applications and here I'm going to create a, a, a folder, a drawer called Internet where I'm going to install everything that has to do with Internet We have uh, Python, so something like uh, 040 and let's have that installed. Um, YT 1200 anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, one of the new uh, cases from the A1200.net uh, uh, with a badge here that I bought at some point, I think, uh, on Amiga 34, if I'm not wrong, uh, from a guy selling them there. Uh, the, the bot says uh, 1200 HD slash PPC and uh, in this uh, machine I had the PPC with the B Vision but for now I have the Python so that I can uh, share it with you um, in my stream and because my PPC right now is on my uh, son's uh, system so I can't have access there. As soon as I am done with the Python, uh, we are going to switch and then I'm, I'm thinking to have some um, streams about the PowerPC on uh, 1200 and how this is working. Uh, would you like to add an SSL to your path? This will make it possible to execute the OpenSSL tool without specifying full path to it. Yes. Uh, the user setup so that an SSL can uh, proceed. Okay, this is installed. Let's install now the eyebrows. Proceed. And where are we going to install it? Applications. English. Uh, o for the FPU. And let's see how it goes. I will choose 8 bit 256 colors. Uh, yeah, let's do 24 bit 2 colors. Let's go up to the limits. So, uh, if you remember in one of the previous stream, uh, I installed Magic User Interface. So, this is already there. And let's see if we need to update na uh, text history .mcc. That was the only uh, plugin for Magic User Interface that is needed, or let's say library. And since we have that installed here, Internet, so uh, I browse, and because I have the key, where is it? Here. If you don't know, I browse 2.5 and 3, 3 uh, introduced a, a new key. Uh, so if you were a user from my uh, iBrows 2.4, you should upgrade. Uh, with the iBrows 2.5 key, you can use it on the iBrows 3 just fine without uh, changing anything. Um, this is uh, not free, the upgrade is not free. Uh, and it, uh, it gives the opportunity for us to support the developer because he's doing a lot of uh, work on both eyebrows and AMI SSL and keep us as updated as possible with uh, SSL encoding. So yeah, if you can, uh, if you don't have that already registered, please do. Uh, if you don't want to register eyebrows, there is a way to donate for the, the work on uh, AMI SSL. So if you if you uh, would like to support the developer, please uh, have a look on that and uh, please support him. Uh, he is doing a, a great job. 
777 says lower the music a bit please uh, some songs are louder yes let me do that how about now Goldman seems very snappy is it the fastest you can you have used how does it feel compared to 1200 ppc it's the the 1200 uh, with a ppc uh, for the workbench it still uses uh, the 68k cpu uh, for drawing in uh, on the screen uh, with a b vision of course you are using the b vision but all the the code is uh, still on a 68k uh, that's why if you use uh, on the same machine uh, amiga os4 uh, in my perspective, my opinion is that on Amica OS 4 is much faster uh, on drawing the windows and all the stuff than Amica OS 3 on a PPC system, PPC based system, right? Uh, on the classic uh, PPC based system. Uh, this is using a, a, an emulated, let's say, 040. Uh, on steroids which is really fast so everything is quite snappy uh, but have in mind here that we are not using any uh, decoration for the for the windows we don't have any effects uh, like moving the window uh, with opacity and having everything shown we just uh, move the uh, border of it right so let me hide that So yeah, and we don't have a uh, idealizing right now. We don't have all these things that could make the system uh, look better and uh, might require extra resources from the uh, operating system, from the, from the hardware. So let me check if we still have uh, internet. Yes, we do. Okay, so let's try and open eyebrows for the first time. And open amigans.net. For example, a website that is made to work well on uh, eyebrows and it's already loaded okay amicans.net proceed I think it's pretty fast. The, sc the scrolling is pretty good. Let me have that full screen. The scrolling here is the fastest that I have seen ever in a, a classic machine. I don't know about you or how you do you see that. Um, yeah, it's very fast. Uh, which is pretty good and when you have that first uh, setup on your machine the next thing that you need to go to do is to go to uh, Aminet and since we have a classic system here I would like to uh, install the Infinity player infinite module player something like that let's see infinite no let me search as infinite like that okay no 
Oh, it's not that. But, um, No, I'm looking for IMP, the latest version of IMP. Very fast for a real machine uh, indeed, yeah, it is, it is extremely fast. Of course the iBrowse is a really fast uh, browser uh, because it doesn't use, yeah, that's it, IMP3. Okay, volumes, it doesn't use, um, it doesn't work uh, with um, JavaScript and it doesn't use any CSS um, sometimes even on my uh, classic uh, on my PowerPC Amiga's the Amiga OS 4 I prefer to to use okay to use the eyebrows because this is it is quite fast Either this is broken, let me download it again, or the um, XAD cannot extract that file. So let me try with LHA. Um, yeah. That worked much better. So I'm going to create here a new drawer called uh, Music. I'm following a pattern that I'm using on most of my uh, systems so that is more familiar to me. Uh, and I mean a pattern on the folders and the on everything on my system because when you are switching from one system to another uh, it is difficult to follow if you are doing different things uh, here and there uh, JavaScript libraries frameworks the PPC killer <laughs> yeah exactly uh, and the, the PPC it's difficult to get as fast as uh, the other systems with uh, JavaScript because uh, for the other systems, they are using something like a JIT execution or the JavaScript with a lot of caching uh, to make it as fast as possible. And uh, remember, they have a lot of uh, uh, horsepower on their CPUs and multiple cores and all this stuff. So even on the other systems, uh, JavaScript is quite slow and it's everywhere. And it's going to be everywhere for a long time, I guess. I'm afraid. So IMP3. Um, yeah, the <laughs> the description is do stuff on Amiga. Let's see what kind of stuff we can do. So when you uh, 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 run it, it uh, downloads uh, the latest version, install it automatically, and let me start it right now. Uh, I think we have 70 to 20 be here so I'm going to go with the same uh, 1280 is it? here let's try this one 8 bit okay now the first time you uh, install it and you run it it asks for a code um, 
This is a server. If you want, you can use it without having a, a code or ask them to to register you. But it is better again to support the developer. So I have my code, which I, I need to uh, enter here. Let me do that. And And what uh, this does is uh, it's create a file in S uh, folder, startup uh, folder, sorry, S in S folder on your Sys and store there the, um, your, uh, your code. And then since we do that, we have access to our um, to the files that uh, we like to listen to because this uh, Infinity Music Player uh, is able to download mod files from online automatically, uh, play them, uh, it can uh, download uh, modules, AHX, XM files, MP3s, a lot of stuff. Uh, so let's see if we can listen to something. Let me open the audio. Yeah. Uh, I think that you can listen to the music, right? That's the sound that we hear like now in uh, from uh, IMP, and also it has a, a, an area where you can chat with others. So here it says Volcano connected from Ireland, uh, and it says EMU68. So it reports to the others uh, the system that you are using at that point. And uh, as you can see here, we have two different scopes. Uh, if I try to do that on my O30, the system can play both of them, but they are uh, losing a lot of frames. Uh, and uh, the system is not uh, that responsive uh, afterwards. So yeah. One of the necessary things that you need to have on your classic Amiga is IMP, I believe. Uh, and the internet is working fine. <laughs> Ready for um, uh, parties, right? So, uh, about IMP, there is uh, some interesting uh, stuff uh, the developer of IMP uh, released. Uh, not too much time ago uh, where you can have uh, the IMP box uh, which is uh, a hardware that you can install on any classic Amiga I think it is installed on the parallel uh, port and uh, with that you can connect online uh, to be able to play uh, music from um, the servers, the servers that the IMP uses to download the music. So uh, you can uh, have the uh, necessary software and IMP in a single uh, floppy, uh, connect that uh, IMP box on your Amiga, put, it, uh, the, put the disk on your floppy, boot, and you have a system for a party anywhere you, you are going. Uh, SLD Snake says IMP is a good excuse to going online from the Amica. Yes, it is. I, I love that um, uh, program because it gives you the opportunity to discover music and modes that you never know, uh, never knew, 
Um, let me see how I can get out of it. Okay, okay, okay. No. Okay. And where is it? Let me out. Okay. It, it needed some time uh, pressing the escape. So uh, there is a way, where is it? Uh, let me find it, where you can search for different stuff. For example, here, if I go to S, click on S, I can search for something like uh, Lotus. I think here I'm going to get some results about that and if I click on one of these I can listen to it and uh, I don't think this is the from the Lotus uh, the game uh, Lotus Maybe this one. So right now it downloaded the mode pretty fast, started playing it, and then I can click on here share. And as soon as I did that, it will share it in the chat, as you can see here, uh, with the rest of the people that are in in the chat. And if someone comes to that link, that share that I did that message, and clicks on that. They can see, they can hear the same music, the same song, which is awesome. Uh, SLT Snake says the IMP box sounds nice for a plane 500. Will it work? It will work. Yes. Yeah. I think the there are a couple of videos out there uh, about showing the potential of this uh, of this tool, uh, of this hardware and the uh, IMP. I think it, they show that uh, working on a plane uh, 500. So if you if you never try that, I would uh, completely re uh, recommend to go and uh, use it and try the IMP. So uh, let me see. Uh, mode only my likes. Okay. And I will leave that at the background to, to play and uh, get back to uh, main system. So, what can we do now? Um, we have internet, we have access to any tool that we would like to download. One of the tools that you might want to uh, download is uh, Amir ISC three point five. This is the the older version. That was uh, released from Vapor uh, a lot of years ago. So let's download it and if I'm not wrong there is a newer version uh, Proceed I am uh, Some people from some developers from uh, Morphos they uh, keep on updating the AMIRC and at the AMIRC.org you can find the latest versions So the latest Amir C release version is 3.9. Let's download that. No, not from there. I guess download. And uh, we will download the version for 68020. I guess. Okay, both of them in the round disk. And because something might happen and we might need to uh, 
attribute, I will create here a new folder named downloads and put those two files here. Uh, yeah, I think uh, SLD Snake, if you check at uh, shortdown.ie, I think they have it. And anyone who is from um, EU, if you want to avoid to pay any taxes from any UK company, Shortdown is the best choice to, um, to order it. So let me extract from MFC. What you need to do is to go and uh, install that. So, where is it? Here. Install. Proceed. Okay. Where? So, drives, applications, internet. Where do you want to install it? A directory called AMIRC will be created if one is not there. Proceed. 68040. Um, let's put the mind prefs in there. English. Uh, okay, install them all. In libraries. Although I'm not sure we are going to use them. Applications, Internet, AMRC, OK. Uh, don't install the register information. All right, OK. And now it's time to do the update and see if that works. Extract. The, the speed of uh, extracting all the files is crazy. So we have here these files that are from the update. Important, simply the key. We need to do the entire concern process. Okay, important. Is it those for paper? Please note that it's not available. It's do not connect. Okay. Do they have any information about how to install it? I think we just need to get the files and replace the old ones. Okay. So I'm going to go internet, AMIRC here, and take everything. Let me show I'm going to select all the files and throw them in here, replace all. Great. Uh, right Amiga and Y is going to make it look more better. The folder. And let's run it. Cool. So we have the latest version of AMI RC. Um, installed and we can connect maybe somewhere let's say in the morphos chart specify yeah okay. And we have AMRC working just fine. Now you see all these uh, characters here that are not visible quite well. So what we need to go to do is to go to Magic User Interface, Preferences, and try to find these uh, characters because most probably they are going to uh, be quite small. So what I'm going to do is, for example, in buttons. We have uh, here minus one. Let's make it zero. And uh, here zero. No. Uh, we 
can set specific uh, sizes but I would like to go with the relative one. Ah, this is for slider and gog. No, we don't need that. We need text buttons. This. is let me minimize that now this area here this should be a list from magic user interface so unless if the let me check the configuration for the specific uh, application so if you go to AMIRC uh, menu and new settings, you can set for specifically that application the configuration for Magic User Interface. So if we go to buttons, yeah, I don't see something different like from the uh, From the global ones. If I make no, this is for slider and for the zebra. Okay, maybe the okay, let's go again to the global ones and make everything a little bit bigger if possible. So, uh, Let me see, because I can't hear the music. Let me see. You don't like this music? Tito? Okay, the Lotus uh, mode is uh, one of my favorite. It's uh, it's it makes you wanna do th things, right? You're gonna run <laughs> for some reason. So, uh, as you have seen in the uh, Magic User Interface configuration here, it has a, a a font size for the tiny letters. That's why as soon as I change that. But this is a global configuration. As soon as I'm changing that, you will see all these uh, texts are um, changing. And the reason for that is the, that the tiny um, AMIRC sets that these uh, buttons and lists should use the tiny uh, font size. Or uh, Magic User Interface uh, uh, selects that automatically based on the size, uh, the, the space that it has. Um, so by changing the tiny, the, 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 this uh, uh, buttons and the list is much more uh, readable right now. So I'm going to save it. And let me uh, talk about this for something here. As you can see in Magic User Interface, I think five is the only uh, version that has that uh, the size is defined with the uh, backslash in front of it uh, which means that it is uh, a relative uh, size the relative size based on the it uses the same uh, uh, 
font uh, like uh, everything in uh, Magic User Interface and the system, but it is relative uh, to the uh, font size of the system. So um, if you don't want that and you want to set something specific, you have to click on, uh, let's say, 11 here, which is the size and you will see that it gets slash 11 because the I selected only Topaz if I select something else for example the Helvetica 11 click OK you see that it sets it to Helvetica if I remove that name it will take the Topaz because Topaz is the default um, the default uh, font for my system, right? That's why you see here it has a relative uh, for big plus two and for huge plus six, which is very good, very interesting. Um, so you don't need everywhere to go and uh, set which uh, font is the default. Uh, Chitu says a very good idea to do relative fonts. Yeah, it is. Makes the apps design scalable even for OS 4 4K screens. Exactly. Exactly. You can change everything then. Um, so we have right now uh, AMI RC working. So if you like AMI RC, if you like this kind of uh, applications, um, the only thing that you need is to, to use them. For the Amigans uh, website, amigans.net, we have a Discord uh, channel to communicate with uh, the users, but the, the general channel in that uh, Discord server is connected also with the Amigans uh, IRC uh, server. So and there is an automated uh, way where the messages from one is uh, they are transferred to the other um, so if you go to amigans irc channel sorry server you are going to get in uh, comments from the discord as well and the people from discord are going to see your comments there And that is useful because we don't have any other way to to use uh, Discord on uh, Amigos uh, operating systems. There is a, a hacky way to do it, but it's it's a little bit complicated and uh, not so um, easy for everyday use. Uh, Tzitu asks in real time, exactly, in real time, yeah, if you go there and write something, at the same point someone is going to see it in Discord and vice versa. So, uh, as you can see, we have uh, access to uh, Internet, let me quit this, so the next thing that we, we might need to do is play some games, right? Or would you like me to show something in uh, based on IRC uh, on this system? Is there any preference? So I'm thinking to go and install WHD Load and see also the WHD Load wrapper that is needed for Python and try to play a couple of games. Having an IMP at the back uh, working just fine and doing stuff at the front is, in my, in my opinion, uh, the best thing that you can do with uh, Amiga OS 4. Uh, sorry, Amiga OS 3, Amiga OS 4 and everything. Um, ah, we could... Now that I'm thinking, we could see and check the Amitube. Where can we find it? Amitube. Eh? Cancel. Google. Amitube is a, 
a great little utility that you can use to play YouTube videos on Classic Amigas. Let me find it. Proceed here. So if you go to blog.alb42 Let me find it So yeah blog.alb42.de we can find uh, Amitube Amiga OS where is it? this one let's download it 1.4 now Amitube is a really nice uh, tool to discover YouTube videos there are versions as you have seen for uh, Morphos, uh, Amiga OS 4, Aros and uh, Classic Amigas uh, <coughs> sorry, this is uh, developed in uh, Free Pascal and this is developed uh, with, uh, from the same guy who created Amifox we will see Amifox in another time because uh, you need to set up your own uh, server to download the websites uh, I need to prepare about that so Amitube sorry Amitube extract and let's see how, how it works if we need to do anything uh, ok let me move it to Videos, video here. Let me load the default uh, icon like that. So, how you do that with uh, shortcuts? As you can see here, I have this selected in case you don't know what I, I was doing. You select the, the icon. You click right uh, Amiga and I to open the information. It's the same thing like going here and open information. Then you, uh, you press right Amiga and L to load the default, uh, load default icon. This is the same if you go here and select this menu. So right Amiga L, let me enable it. Right Amiga L, you click yes, and what it does, it goes to Envark and finds the default icon for uh, uh, the drawers and loads that there. And then you save it, and you have the default icon for this uh, drawer. This is the same thing you can do with, uh, with everything. Um, and I will say, let's download also the icon library because I, I am really, really confused with uh, the colors that the icons are getting here. So let me go to here and say icon library like that. Icon lib 46. Point four. That was released uh, 21st of, uh, of March. So let's download that. Internet downloads. And we can install it later. So, Amitube. Window, Amitube. Okay. 
Now it might need a player for us to play the video, right? So let's see what we can install. Requirements. Okay. That's optional. JPEG data type. CDXL player to play the CDXL movies. Uh, example Aga Blaster from there. MPEG 1 player to play MPEG 1 movies. The Riva. Okay. WK to download original formats directly from YouTube to download the, the videos. M player to stream directly from YouTube. So I will say that we are going to go with the Aga Blaster. Is this available on Aminet? No. So let's type this one. Okay, let me open a new tab. Sorry. Okay, and get this one is GitHub IO. So, MS C Hoda uh, GitHub dot IO uh, GitHub IO slash Amiga slash Aga Blaster Okay. Uh -huh. Let's download this this version. Okay. Proceed. Now the reason why I used I selected to download the Aga Blaster is that it needs me to sign in oh it's on a uh, drive on google eh? Can we use CTXL Play instead? This wants this needs PPC Amiga. OS. So the thing is with AmiTube um, for the classic Amigas, it converts the videos on the fly to um, CDXL. That's the reason why I will, I'm trying to get that version, that uh, that player. So, uh, otherwise, we can use Riva with MPEG 1. Let's see. Let's see if we can. Okay. Okay, if we go to applications and put that in here, great, let's see now if we can use it with Amity, or we need to get the uh, CDXL and peg.
back one okay Let's see if that works. So we are setting something in Amitube right now that logically takes the information from the YouTube. So logically, soon we are going to get a list here of uh, files, of uh, videos that um, are based on this uh, search cr criteria. Okay, and if for example select this one, or something small, let's, let's select something small, small, this one dot preview now you see here is there are two options get us mpeg uh, one which will uh, download the file and try to play that with uh, river i guess and get original the original i think it is the url from uh, youtube that is able to be played to the um, video player but this video player needs to have a, um, to have a, the ability to play online uh, video streaming videos otherwise it's not going to be able to be to to, to play them uh, as much as I know, Riva is not able to do that. Uh, this is useful on Morphos and uh, Amiga OS 4 because there are a lot of players there that play online uh, streaming video. Um, so what uh, this does right now, it talks with the developer's uh, server. Um, it gets the, the server gets the, the video from YouTube, converts it to MPEG-1, as we asked about, and then it sends uh, the video to this machine uh, to to play it, to play back. Unfortunately, this uh, network card is not the fastest one. Uh, maybe if we have the Wi-Fi Pi uh, device at some point uh, used, which connects to the Wi-Fi and connects also to 5G if possible, this can be much faster. Let's pause that and play the movie and try to play the movie. I think it works. I can't scale it. It is uh, 352 by 288, but I don't he hear any music. Okay, does Riva need a AHI? Let's see. Riva, Riva Guide. I don't think that it does. Features perform requirements. What do you need? Only graphics card, Kickstart 3.1, and Pega Library. Installed to enable audio. Okay, we need a Pega Library. So if we go now to the Aminet and select it. Uh, what's the latest one? Is 
is this the one? I think that's the one that we need. Okay, applications, uh, internet, downloads, uh, PEGH, okay, abstract, Here we have MPEGA library 040. Let's try that. So new cell, copy, MPEGA. As you can see, I'm already inside the folder. So if you have the window uh, open and you do uh, write Amiga E to open this, this execute a file and you write a new cell or new CLI, uh, it gets you automatically inside the folder that you had uh, enabled. So we are going to go with the library 040 and we want to copy that into libs, sorry, like that, and uh, call it mpeg, mpeg dot library like that. And if we try now to play the music, the, to play the video, the movie, we have also some music. Uh, SLD Snake says, uh, "Cool, I still have to try to try these tools." Uh, Amitube is really great uh, tool actually i was thinking about uh, creating something like that uh, myself uh, for uh, amiga os4 uh, but since it is available and uh, you can use it to discover videos just fine the only thing is that for the classic amigas uh, because you can't uh, play get the original and play it automatically inside the a video player um, you have to ask that to be downloaded and converted and all this stuff uh, from the the application and you have to wait uh, on OS4 or Morphos you just click on get original you it connects that to, to the video player and starts playing just fine uh, have you seen the latest experiments from Claude mini GL and MIDI attached to the Polar no I haven't seen that Mini GL, that would be great. Mini GL, it's going to open so many uh, possibilities for the classic Amigas, but I guess it's going to need a, a really powerful one. I heard about the Mini GL because um, a couple of days ago, the uh, Quake 2 for 68K systems was released. And I think that is capable to use the mini GL uh, for PyStorm. Uh, I don't know if this is available already for uh, vampires or something like that. So here we have a, a video that is almost 70 minutes uh, long. So this, if we try to, to play that video, For example, it's going to take a long time to uh, to download it. And I, uh, I don't know if that uh, even lets you do it. Here, get a sentence one. So if we do that, it's going to take a lot of time. That's the downside with uh, this uh, application and uh, the class chemicals. But I understand this is difficult to, to make it right now to, to work uh, on the fly. Okay, close Amitube. So uh, we have seen Amitube as well. Let's fix a little bit the 
the icons. Let me put some music back. And let's fix the... That doesn't sound right. That's broken. No, the, the, I think the timing here is wrong. SLD Snake says, I saw that uh, Quake 2, it says that it has selectable 040, 060, 080 Vampire versions. Yeah, the Mini GL, I think the Mini GL is only for uh, Python right now. I, I am not sure, but that's, that's what I understood so far. Okay. Um, downloads. Icon lib forty six point four. Okay. Uh, so this nexus, I think so too. Claude um, showed that it uses the arm, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, maybe they are uh, using something from the Pystorm to increase the speed, maybe. I don't know if that could work on something like the A600GS that is coming from uh, Amiga Kid. I don't know if you have heard about it, but it's going to be an ARM-based uh, little system for um, that is going to run uh, Amiga OS. So maybe that's one thing that uh, could be could be compatible with, I guess. So icon library, so, program description, installation. Just copy my lips icon level into your lips. Okay, let's try that. Uh, new shell, copy icon into lips. Lips for output file is right protected. Can't open lips. What? Can I do that like this? Ah, okay, cancel. Okay, there is another version of icon library, the one that comes with the system, I guess. And this is version, let's see, 47.5. So let me rename it, 47.5. And if I do that now, it works fine. And that should be, let me refresh that. to 51.4.582. Hmm. Okay. Let me stop that. Let me also close the browser uh, you have changed your preference save and quit okay and let's do a reboot and see if the icon library is uh, working now and if we have better icons uh, in our system 
To check that, I'm going to use my CF card because I have some icons from the Amica OS 4. So let's see if they are visible now. Yes. As you can see, we can have uh, icons from Amica OS 4, dual PNG icons, just fine. And uh, they seem to work great. Which means that if you need uh, bigger icons from Amiga OS 4 or make uh, even your system to look like Amiga OS 4, this is uh, quite possible. So, that's good. I hope now that we are not going to have the same issues with uh, the colors in the icons. And if we go to downloads, for example, here, everything looks fine. Perfect. So, what we need now? We need some games or demos. So let's try and install uh, WS Load, I guess. Um, this one, which I think it's the latest version. 18.9 and this one main section the location for this key is variable Okay, so we can extract this, this uh, key to S, for example. Okay, this is my personal uh, WSD load uh, key, so this is there, and let's install WSD load. It is immediate user. Where should the WSD load and the other tools installed? The location must be reachable via the path recommended is C. Okay, let's go with that. Put the help files into help. Everything is done so fast. I can't believe it for this uh, machine. Uh, and I think I have here somewhere PyStorm. Let's see. We have WHD load wrapper. This is 0 0.07. Uh, I think the latest version is uh, 0 0.9. Let me see. WHD load wrapper. No, not that. Zero ten. Read me. Let's see what it says. Okay, and um, we are going to run th the the game without the wrapper, a game, and uh, with the wrapper and see uh, how it goes. Do you have any um, proposal what uh, game you would like me to run? Something that exists on um, WSD Load. So introduction, WSD Load wrapper is a helper tool for WSD Load on accelerated Amiga platforms that need certain options set before WHD load games or demos are run and allows for options to be set for specific games and demos. It will work irrespective if the game is loaded via an icon in the workbench whether the game is loaded via the, the command line or via uh, WHD load game launcher such as iGame, tiny launcher etc. 
the tool uses a database file to find the parameters that are needed for the game demo and then applies those before WSD load is executed which is interesting OP, welcome, hello welcome to the stream I saw that you streamed something uh, a couple of days ago really violent I didn't uh, I don't be, I, I didn't believe in my eyes when I saw that you are playing such games. I would expect you to stream something from your collections of classic uh, from retro computers. Uh, the tool, uh, sorry, prerequisites. Target the load wrapper uses naming conventions used by the retro play WS load collection. Okay, please use the latest RetroPlay WS Load version to ensure that games are detected properly. Okay. Uh, PyStorm. PyStorm users must have EMU68 installed. Version A and 1 of the firmware is required for both the PyStorm Classic and PyStorm32 platforms. Okay, we have that. Installation, the installer script is applied which will guide you through the installation. Okay, so what we need to do is to extract that file. Now, if you want to, w to uh, download the WSD load wrapper, the only place that I could find it, but there might be others, the only place I could find it was in uh, uh, the Facebook, there is a, a PyStorm um, there is a PyStorm group where the developer of uh, WSD Load Wrapper um, sends messages whenever they, there is a newer version and uh, let, uh, lets everyone to, to know about it so I'm not going to install it yet just to see first a game running on WSD load and see what kind of uh, fixes it can give us so let me I have here a retro plays um, games I just tried it out uh, it was uh, tonight Tonight, you have a tonight for uh, a stream? What time, uh, OP? Um, any proposal for a game? Guys, let me rename that to games. And I will, uh, what? Please insert volume empty. Yeah. Because I renamed it, of course. So I'm going to create here a folder name WHD load. Okay, and um, I will try and find C. Agony. Okay, Agony. Thanks, C2. Let's see Agony. Uh, we have that here. Okay, destination. Like that. Extract. And let me connect a controller. Today I have a headache from hell. Okay. To be honest with you, OP, I didn't have you so for some vi violent games, but I will. Uh, what time are you going to uh, stream? We might raid you, or or I'm going to to have a have a look. Okay, so 
we have agony uh, let's run it and see if that works ah no not tonight okay okay we don't see anything because this is coming from my um, native output from the Amica and for, remember that the scan tablet that I'm using there is not the best one also we are going to see some part of the bottom side being uh, cut so yeah please excuse the vertical lines and all the stuff And as you can see, the the output takes all the the area. I don't see any problem on timings over the music right now. I think it's pretty fine. It sounds quite accurately accurate and the, the movement is fine. Are you playing that game? Do you like it? Have you ever finished it? A game I would like to test is 
I have two, two games in my mind to test. Uh, one of them is uh, Super Frog and the other is uh, Gym Power. Gym Power, I think it's uh, a game that is quite... Uh, uh, it requires some uh, accurate um, playback, uh, accurate cal calculations in, uh, in your system. So... Okay, it still loads. <coughs> Sorry. You see, the system is pretty fast and uh, things like that uh, right now. Uh, it makes it uh, feel a little bit uh, slow because, after all, it's uh, the the disk hard disk bus is quite slow, right? So. It makes you feel like uh, it is very fast, uh, really snappy, uh, which it is, but not uh, when it has to do with the uh, hard disk and when you have a, a huge list like that. So I saw I said about Super uh, Frog and. Let's take this one. Here, extract and team power. And if there is any other game that you would like me to show you how it works on the Python, please let me know. Uh, Turrican 2 the, Would you like to see the, the old version or the Aga, the new version? I have problem in the beginning of the, on the Ice Drake and uh, Terrible 5 1260 The old one I think I have it here And you always talk about the WSD load version OP, right? Turrican 2, let's see, uh, version 2.2, this one, okay, extract, uh, C2 says yes, I have, but with unlimited lives, yeah, yeah, I never finished that game, uh, OP finished it, cool, that's great. Uh, but you are extremely violent, uh, OP. Patrick, I can't stand how violent you are. <laughs> C2 says, a state of the art is always tough to emulate correctly. Yeah, it was working quite well here, uh, based on my experience. With the 1200 that I have, the Blizzard 1230. So, it's pretty fine, I guess. Let's see with uh, Turrican 2. I want, I want to test the Super Frog because on my PPC system that has the 040 at uh, 25 uh, megahertz, it's not working uh, well. I will try to hack them next time. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how it goes.
all pieces I had a problem with uh, the music on the Ice Trek and Table Fall 60 when they were released in this game. Yeah, uh, here it seems fine, I guess. You see the animation is uh, just fine. No problem here and the music is accurate, right? My play, uh, playing uh, abilities is awful, but okay. See, to as you can see, I have here as well the problem with the birds. I don't like them. <laughs> Same problem. Is the music now much better? I think it's it's playing just fine. Uh, let's see the next one. Uh, let's try Super Frog.
as you can see, that's uh, one of the reasons why I don't, uh, why I became a developer. My gaming abilities are really bad. This game right now is really fast and uh, it's not an excuse of my lousy playing but it's difficult to control the, play, the character. well a little bit faster than I was expecting but there is no problem with the graphics and everything last game let's try gym power and then we can try with the WLHD load wrapper and see if we will see any change and if it helps at all I believe when they are going to release that extra um, uh, hardware that is uh, for taking the video capturing capturing the video from the native output of the Amiga and drive it back to the uh, Raspberry Pi and get everything from the from one uh, port. It's going to be great. I'm looking forward for that. There are some problems here, as you have seen. The music is uh, quite accurate and the gameplay is fine, but you see these uh, problems in the graphics, right?
So here is a bug because I have keys and this is not opening. So there is something wrong. Okay, time to install the wrapper and see how it goes with that. Uh, like they did with uh, the ice trick, uh, you mean, uh, with the wrapper? I don't know. Um, I think it is uh, available for, um, at least in the documentation says that it's available. Also, it can be used with uh, vampires. So, uh, that's the first time that I'm going to use it and even install it. So, let's see. Installer, proceed. Do you want to use screen text to display what options are used when launching a WSD load game demo? No, without screen text. Which online updating capabilities do you want installed? Check for update always when slave is started. Download check data once per day. No online when slave is started. Do you want the online database updater icon to be installed? Yes. Select location for update database icon. I'm going to install in games. Proceed. Installation complete. So here in games we have update dps which runs something uh, is it a script see like con Yes, it seems like being a script, so I'm curious. Let's see what it has. This one doesn't have anything, but it use it. Uh, it uses the WHD load wrapper, which is in mess. Okay. So if we go to S. <coughs> here <coughs> sorry that's the place where WHC load wrapper is installed here it is ok those seems to be the the B files let's open one of these we have a fast system so we shouldn't be Okay, so it has the name of the file and the parameters. Interesting. And it has the database for Vampire V4SA, so this can be used as well. It has only for Simon the Sorcerer. Okay. And then we saw that uh, this opens this file of a CLI, updated CLI icon. Okay, this one. Hmm. It's not a script. Corpens run, supreme that, LHA. Never seen this game, is it Aga? Uh, you mean the Jim Power? Yeah, it is a Naka system, uh, game. And uh, yeah, it has a very nice music as well. It's one of my loved uh, games. I mean, with the picture ports on the Amiga. With the picture ports on the Amiga. Ah, okay. Um, I don't know what they have for the ice trick, but the idea for the Pystorm is to get uh, from one of the chips in the Amiga 1200 to get the output 
uh, and drive it to the buy store uh, where in the video slot and that will uh, drive it to the same output in uh, HDMI like the RTG so this is also going to do automatically the switch between the native and the RTG uh, screen SLD snakes I have to go good stream see ya thank you so much SLD for being here see you next time have a good one have a good uh, weekend so okay we installed the WSD load wrapper and let's see how we are doing now with the games that they have had problems let's start first with the gym power and if it, go, it is going to change anything from the messages that I have seen in the PyStorm um, uh, Facebook group they say that it is crucial to have the WSD load uh, wrapper installed so let's see I think the problem is still there If we go to that database, uh, if we go and open that database, uh, as I said, this is the first time that I'm using all this stuff, so uh, bear with me for taking all this stuff. Uh, in my streams, I don't like to, to give uh, you know the information um, straight to the users and uh, I just want to have them with me and uh, discover everything ourselves together uh, so that we can um, see what kind of problems we are going to have for example right now uh, gym power it seems that it has a parameter here as you can see ICMT equals to 255 I don't know if this is a parameter for um, for WSD load or something that WSD load wrapper uses only let's see here readme ok so after we install it do we need to do something else? Do we need to reboot? Installation installer script is applied which will guide you through the installation of the tool. When installing you will be asked if you want to install a version which displays information on your workbench screen showing the parameters that are applied screen text. Or a silent version which works like a normal WSD load that no information is displayed. Also, when upgrading to a newer version, you will be asked if you want to keep your existing database files. How does it work? The tool replaces the original WSD load. So, <coughs> if you go and um, upgrade the WSD load, I guess that you will need to install the latest WSD load uh, wrapper again. When WSD load is called, rather than uh, the existing WSD load being immediately, immediately executed, the wrapper intercepts the request, matches the game demo to the database and then executes a custom script, which both enables the customized options defined in the database and then executes the original WSD load program, which has been renamed to cwsdload.ori as part of the installation process. Note, this means should you update WSD load in the future, you will either need to do so manually, renaming the WSD load file to WSD load ORI, uh, prior to manual, manually copying the update, okay, or you will need to reinstall the WSD load, okay. Understood. If you overwrite the WSD load tool by mistake, you can fix it by running the following command. 
Alternatively, you can just reinstall the latest version of WSD load wrapper. Okay, so yeah, it might not even uh, solve that uh, that issue. We say that for the gym power ICMT. ICNT EMU control ICNT option number default EMU 68 on Python Python ah ha huh. maybe that tries to uh, execute the EMU control but the EMU control is not in the path we have it but it's not in the path I think so if we do a new cell and we try to run in new control oh no it is there in new control i see and i see and and option number the number here is 255 are we going to see an error? No. So if we go to emu control, I think I have it at utilities emu control. Are we going to see that value somewhere here? Javier, welcome to the stream. I didn't screw anything, man. <laughs> I swear, I didn't screw anything yet. <laughs> uh, OP, thank you for being here. I hope you feel uh, better. Good night. Uh, we, I installed the WSD load and I installed a couple of uh, games. And uh, I have some issues with uh, Gym Power. Maybe this is something that uh, is not uh, solvable yet or it's, it, it is something that everyone has but I installed also the WSD load, the latest version of WSD load wrapper and I was thinking that uh, it might solve uh, an issue, a glitch that we have in the graphics. So what I am doing right now is to understand how the um, WSD load wrapper is working, that's why I'm uh, reading the documentation here. And that seems that for the gym power, the database, the gym power says it has this parameter ICNT equals to 255. And it says here that the following parameters can be set to configure EMU68 options ICNT equals to X. So it runs the EMU control. We saw the EMU control in the previous uh, stream that we installed it from the EMU68 uh, tools, the package that is available on uh, the repo for Python, for, sorry, for the EMU68 uh, repository on GitHub. So I ran it manually here just to see if we are getting any errors and I'm looking in the utility to see what exactly this changes if we set it to 100 to MB8 will we see any change here? let me see no, I don't see something else here, something different Or this uh, command is not working, I'm doing something wrong. Maybe it needs the ICNT to be capitalized. CNT option and number. Default is two. Yeah, I don't see something. So that didn't solve the glitch that we had in um, the game, but uh, I'm trying to understand how this works. 
Can you make font a little bit bigger? It's hard to read on laptop. WHD load wrapper. Yeah, WHD load wrapper is um, a package that helps uh, with uh, games that are uh, problematic, have issues. Now, I don't know if that's in a situation where it solves everything, every problem out there. Uh, but uh, yeah, it is uh, something that at least that helps on that. Let me make fonts bigger for my friend Javier. It's going to be interesting. Use. I hope that's much better. If you need me to make it bigger, please let me know. Um, so we were seeing how this is working. It says that the WHD load wrapper replaces WHD load. Uh, so when you run any game, it um, gets in the middle. Database file. The format of the database file is very simple. A line starting with a semicolon is a comment and will be ignored. Each game demo with customized options is one line in the DB file. Okay, as we have seen, there is also a line for default options. So these options will be set for any game demo not found in the DB. Okay, database files. Now, I wonder if, um, I don't think we need to, to restart to have that working. Can be set to set different options of WSD load, WNC, WEC, okay. If you want control over the set turbo option through MU68 info using the no turbo option in the DB, then you must not have the force turbo equal to one. Um, what I would like to do is to install Snoop DOS. Do I have it here? No tools. No. But it will be interesting if we if I installed Snoop DOS and see if something is wrong with the uh, WHD load wrapper, we can uh, find the problem there in the logs. Do I have it here? No. So we need to download it. And to do that, I need to put the uh, network card and reboot. Um, Javier says, and can you boot without Python like old blizzards and try it such game if the... No, you can't do that. Uh, the i game is uh, using the is a front end for WSD load, so it runs the game uh, with WSD load. You can't boot without Python because there is um, it replaces the CPU. Uh, it it works like a, um, an accelerator, right? A no forty. Uh, as much as I know, uh, because you also uh, uh, load the uh, the kickstart from the Python, if you disable it, you are going to have a problem. Also, the hard disk are on Python. So, from your question, Javier, I understand that you are asking if you can isolate the the CPU, the emulated CPU, and say, okay, use everything else. Uh, except the CPU and use the O20 for the CPU. Hey, Affenmuffe, welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. 
Okay, I thought it used uh, on JST iGame. Uh, don't remember. No, iGame is using the whatever the the game requires. It's actually iGame is a launcher for anything. If you don't use it for uh, WSD load, but for different other games, it will work. It just executes the 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 game based on what you are going to give it. If uh, it is uh, an executable or an info file or something, that's what it's going to use. Um, yeah, I don't. I haven't found anything about the being able to disable the CPU from the uh, Python and say, okay, I want to use the O20. Yeah, I haven't found that anywhere. Um, so what we said, we said to, to download to download the Snoop Dogs. right no, we need to change that to Aminet and then we write here Snoop Dogs. And the other thing that I want to, to find uh, about the Python is how to connect my hard disk uh, LED on uh, Python and see activity there. If anyone knows anything about that, please let me know because this is something that I would like to do for sure. Uh, download Snoopdos, this is version 3.11. So if we go to uh, downloads, snoop those. There we are. Okay. Now, from all this stuff, I don't need anything. Uh, invert selection except snoop those and its icon. Extract, okay, that's good. And if we go here and say utilities, I like to keep them separated from the system. Okay, and if we shut this down remove the PCMCIA because WH loaded PCMCIA connected to the internet or network are not working that well so I'm going to, to run it here and I'm going to go to games WH load team uh, power and run it and see if there are any issues. has to do with some kind of caching because if you see right now this is less and less happening and then it happens a lot yeah 
let's see if the Snoop Dogg see if it gives us any information. So, and then let me, where is it? Pause it, disable, disable it. Okay, so, So we run the WSD load, that is running fine. This WSD load is the WSD load wrapper, if you remember, because that uh, replaces the old, uh, the, the WSD load, the actual WSD load. Uh, slave, everything is fine. It checks the um, database. Let's see if it checks the right database. Yes, it checks the right database. Python light Raspberry Pi 3. Okay. Execute 31. WSD load wrapper. Startup script. Okay. Everything is fine. Nothing is failing. So I guess this kind of uh, game, it has this problem. It's not solved yet or even solvable. Um, Yep, some scroll uh, weirdness happens. Can you disable JIT all cases? Uh, I think if there is a place to do that, sorry, not here, utilities, it should be the new control. JIT controls, fast cast, soft flash. I don't see that you can um, disable JIT unless if you go to one, for example. Hmm. I guess this needs a lot of trial and error. And I think if we, if you find such a solution, um, it is easy then to update the database for WSD load wrapper because it's just a text file. Yeah, it still happens. Let me check if we. Uh, bleed weight. Maybe it has to do with the bleeder. Although here in the intro screen everything is fine, you don't see, usually on emulators you see some uh, uh, problems here in this screen uh, because it's crawling, it's too slow and the sound uh, breaks a lot. So um, we can't expect um, 
100% compatibility with the games or the demos, I guess. Um, but uh, we have seen in the previous uh, the other games, the Agony, the Super Frog, they are playing fine, and uh, Turrican 2 as well. So I believe we are, there are going to be uh, games that have uh, issues like this one. Uh, yeah, the, the, the only thing I guess we need uh, to do is to let the developers know and uh, in case uh, they can do something, I bet they are going to do it. Maybe it uses some tricks, this game, this game is, it, it definitely uses some tricks. <laughs> That's why I, I wanted to test it. Um, on my 1230-1200 with a blizzard. Uh, it, uh, it works uh, flawlessly uh, but uh, yeah there are other applications uh, even emulation sometimes it has issues with that game yeah thanks Javier I'm going to ask them uh, if on 060 works or uh, works okay or happens uh, the same yeah I'm going to ask them maybe there is some kind of uh, uh, some kind of uh, tweaking that you need to do to make it work better, right? So yeah, I'm going to, to, to have a word uh, with them about that. We will see. Um, so I guess that's it for uh, today. Uh, thanks everyone for being here. Thank you for uh, joining me uh, into this uh, stream again. Um, we have seen how this uh, system works with uh, uh, getting into the internet. We have seen eyebrows, AMIRC working fine. And um, also we installed uh, uh, the Infinity Player, which is an awesome tool, IMP3. Uh, it worked uh, flawlessly as well. And uh, I believe that uh, and uh, 1200 with uh, such a Python is uh, a very nice system to, to work on, even watching with Amitube uh, videos, right? Um, from YouTube, which is which is great. Uh, thanks, Situ, for being here. Thank you, Javier, for being here. Everyone in the, in the chat for uh, staying with me today. Uh, let's see if we can. Um, raid anyone let me switch on my main system and let's see if we can find someone to raid uh, let me close that yeah next time um, I will see if we can get access to the latest uh, drivers for the Wi-Fi Pi so we can have wireless access to the to the internet and get rid of this um, uh, of this uh, PCMCA card to, to connect to the internet, which is old, it's, it is a little bit slow, but uh, I use it for the last uh, more than uh, 20 years, <laughs> so it's a good companion of me. Um, so if there is a, a possibility to find a, the latest version of Wi-Fi, uh, I will uh, have a presentation on how we can uh, install it. Uh, Javier says, does the demo Batman Rises work uh, okay? Next stream we are going to have a few demos. I want to, to check a few of them, how they are working. Uh, and I'm going definitely to try the, the Batman one. Um, also next stream I'm planning to, to have a game, an RTG game uh, to, to try. Uh, I just need to track down and find all the updates, the latest updates that were released a lot of time ago and um, have that installed as well and see how, how it goes, how fast it is and it is uh, an RTS uh, uh, game so it's going to be quite, uh, it will require a lot of uh, uh, resources.
the heretic uh, two stream is great. Thank you, Javier. I'm going to continue that on uh, Tuesday. Uh, I'm, I don't know how uh, close we are to the uh, to finish it. I, I bet we are going to need uh, a lot of streams to, to finish it. But again, I'm thinking if that is the proper way to do it. If you would like uh, to see more um, more uh, games instead of just one and uh, have that uh, working until the end uh, and after that Quake 2 multiplayer yeah Quake 2 is something that I already bought uh, but I haven't even uh, installed it um, yeah I would like to, to visit uh, Quake 2 the latest version that was released uh, but uh, I also uh, there are a lot of other games maybe I could uh, show Doom 3 on uh, Amiga OS 4 it's uh, also a good uh, game to, to have some play and see how well it works uh, but, but there are also I would like to check the latest uh, open folder the latest uh, wipeout that was released which are great games so thanks everyone for being here I, I would like also to thank uh, my uh, supporters uh, if you do, if you are not aware I have uh, my Amiga blog uh, on uh, coffee.com slash Volcaro you can find there every project every information I share about the projects that I'm working for uh, Amiga uh, my developments and all this stuff and uh, if you want to follow them have a look on uh, coffee.com slash volcano um, there are uh, a few people that i would like to to thank because they are my uh, monthly supporters in coffee and uh, they help me a lot and they are breed christopher white daniel Tre uh, gentlica emek livelord and tim grooms uh, I thank you all for being here today. Uh, it was it was a nice uh, stream. I hope you you found it interesting. I always try to to show things how we can discover and how things are working uh, for Amiga OS, and uh, not just uh, to show you how uh, to do stuff. Let's discover problems and let's solve them. Um, I always uh, care about the way of thinking how to use uh, stuff on Amiga OS. Um, let's give a rate to Jibu. That's a great guy that is playing retro games. I think he is from Sweden. Um, it's not playing something that is uh, Amiga related but uh, looks pretty interesting. So thanks everyone for being here. Let's give Jibo a raid and uh, see you uh, next time, uh, next uh, Friday I'm going to continue the work and the streams with uh, Pystorm and uh, next uh, Tuesday I'm going to do the uh, gaming on Amiga OS 4 I, probably I'm going to continue with Heretic 2 and I hope to see you there. Thank you very much and see you next time, bye bye.